There we go. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to getting the uh, DMCA by Nintendo. <laughs> Uh, but yes, welcome, welcome back to the uh, math class. Uh, today I'm your substitute teacher, P Paper Bagliacci. <laughs> uh, good morning, Tetsu Psych. Uh, good morning, Robert Brown. Good morning, Raddy. Mm. <laughs> as you may have noticed, there's a new routine mm. that, that I might as well bring out every time there's a uh, a, a stream with the, the Krita. Hopefully I won't get the MCA benefit though. <clears throat> uh I'll get demonetized, that's for sure. On the uh, on, on YouTube. Hmm. It's worth it though. <laughs> this is the only proper song to have in the background of anything mathematical. Hmm. But after Well, uh, I've got the I've got a short review of I guess pre-algebra stuff ready. Hmm. But uh, hmm. I don't know when to when to when to break it out exactly. And I don't want anyone to I don't want anyone late to class to uh to miss it out on it. Hmm. But today we're going to be going into algebra one. <laughs> the first of many algebras. Uh but yes. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should start off with one of the one of the easier concepts. So uh, let's start off without any 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 stupid letters in our math equation. We've got one question. And that question is how many apples per box? Hmm, actually, let me go ahead and fix this. There we go. This will make drawings look worse, but this will make it writing a little bit easier. Ah, oh, that's... this is wrong. No. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. For some reason, you you failed algebra, skipped class, slept through it, or just didn't pass. This is for you. Uh, so here's an easy question. Well, not easy, but simple. Hmm. So you have twenty boxes. You don't know how many apples are in each box. Uh, and... Let's say you have... Hmm... Let's say... Hmm... 18 apples left over. Good word, Max, I'm dead. 40 apples in all. You're wrong. What do you think, there's two apples per box? <laughs> uh... Hmm. Hey, dual pack. <laughs> uh, good morning, Pucci Garrett. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, thank you for the bits. Wait, one times one equals two. Hey, buddy, you going a little too far. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome to class. So, uh, and you have 18 apples left over. So 18 apples floating free, and 20 boxes full of apples. Now let's say you count them up, and you have, uh, 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 158 apples. <laughs> I get more noodles. I got into the Adderall again. No. Uh... No. No. 
Welcome to math class. So, so you have 20 boxes of apples and then 18 extra apples. And uh, you count them all up and you got 158 apples. For some reason, uh, you, let's say you, you suffered a... Uh, you lost your brain a couple days ago and you just found it, but some pieces were missing. Yeah, it, it, oh no. Wait. What? 20 equals Z? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, it takes 20 cents to ship a pound of peaches. I did not know. Hmm. Uh, today's class is on differential equations. Oh no. Uh, it's been a while since I've done differential equations. Hmm. Now, I, I remember watching the Tomekis, who, who has a, a math redeem. Someone asked her with the, uh, to, to solve a differential equation, and then it just derailed the stream entirely. <laughs> Good morning, Bonzel. <laughs> Valorant. You play, you, you, you play in MOBAs in class? Get out of here, kid. <laughs> I'm gonna have to report you to the principal. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah, differential equation uh, equations are later. Some cam streamer with the bag on his head. What? Is that a real thing? Uh. But anyways, mm. <laughs> cringe. No. But uh, okay. So yeah, seven. Oh, you did it. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it's easy to visualize this problem. They got. Uh, so, we, we can discount the, we, we know we've got the 18 floating, the 18 floating apples. We can take that out of the total apples, so we get, we just know we have, uh, 158 minus 18 is four, uh, 140. So we have 20 boxes. I almost put a line through the, the O. Ah. So we've got 20 boxes and 140 apples. Total. And now it's easy from here. Exactly, you get the... We, we have... We divide 140 by 20. So that we know... In one box... Ah, there are... Seven apples. Highly inefficient. Uh... Au contraire, my friend. Is it not the most efficient? Uh, apple, 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 ah, apple. Hexagon. Isn't it six? Uh, the 20 times 7 equals 140. Hmm. Yeah, and if it's like... The silly plastic kind where it's like you get the where it looks like this, you'd be able to stack them even better with even less space in between uh, all of the all of the apples. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just tricked you. This is in fact algebra. I, I may or may not have said that we weren't gonna do algebra yet, but uh, you fucking punk nerd. Why is the box a hexagon? Uh, I guess, I guess if you if you meant like a rectangle. Oh yeah, fuck. Hmm. Yeah, seven apples in like a, a rectangular box would be pretty pretty dumb. Hmm. But it's just hypothetical, okay? It's just hypothetical, okay? <laughs> uh, but twenty x plus. 18 equals 158. <laughs> Good morning, the amazing hammer. <laughs> uh, gonna, <clears throat> today, we're gonna watch for falling rocks with half an A press, but first, I need to clear something up. A, a press is an A press. You can't have half an A press. Well, TJ Henry Yoshi, if that even is your real name. <laughs> 
the the game book. Uh, it's a Super Mario Bros. Three strategy guide. I'm sorry. Mm. It it has all the locations of all the warp whistles, so that's all. That's all that matters. <laughs> uh, take a little over twenty five apples to burst someone's stomach open. If I did the math, did you mean you just did that? <laughs> And Gloran Woozle. Oh the hell, you add an X to an 18. Well, Woozle underscore channel, if that even is your real name. The X is a placeholder. Uh, th this is the main concept of algebra. <laughs> uh, in fact, the concept of algebra, I guess, is... You use... <laughs> you ate 25 apples, I'm sorry. Please go see the doctor, regardless of what they say. <laughs> uh, you use a, a, a variable, as they call it, because it's a number that it's a, a number that may vary. Point. Hold up. Nagamori GT Onizuka. Hold what up? Oh yeah, there's a new redeem. The first time you've seen me smile. Mm, is that true? Yeah, variable me means you don't know. I feel like math. Math is fun. I do have a good example that I want to show off of using algebra. <laughs> Finding a formula for the, uh, a pattern of numbers. 25 days in the future. No, they see 25 days into the future. <laughs> uh... Hmm. But. Yeah. So, we can do what we just did there. We'll remove those 18 free-floating apples from the, uh, 158. Minus 18. 20 X. I mean, 20 boxes equals 140 apples. Find the formula for the ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Thank you for Kamiana. Hmm. No, this is math class. This is like high school. But you find that you find the formula for the teacher's ex-wife. <laughs> uh, getting getting the teacher to talk about off-topic stuff. Uh, seemed like a lot of fun. I never did that, Mister Professor Bagliacci. Oh yeah, no, I never I never got my degree. So, if we divide both sides by 20... Oh, let me do it this way. And... Get X. See, there's a 20... 20 divided by 20 is 1. And... We still have the, the, the box, whatever. And then 140 goes down to 7. There you go. This algebra, it's done. Hmm... But... Uh... Hmm... I don't know if there's enough people yet. Uh... I'm still waiting for everyone to show up to class. Hmm... What is 20x divided by 20 equals x? Uh... Because 20x... Uh, when you put a number next to a variable... An integer next to a variable, whatever. That term next to... Whatever. Hmm... 20... X is short for 20 times X or yeah X plus X da, 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 da. plus X 20 times there you go as is all multiplication multiply both sides by 1 over 20 hmm same difference yes Hmm. R wait, ring the bell. That's for class? Ding, 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 ding. There you go. Why the fuck would they make us find X if you already know it? <laughs> uh, because there are situations where you won't know X, and that's why you have to. That's why you have to know. Everyone's played Yu-Gi-Oh in the bathroom. Are you kidding? Are you? 
Are you serious? Did, can someone go out and check? <laughs> also, can someone take these uh, take these papers to the principal's office? There, uh, there. My, it's my resignation letter. I'm sick of dealing with your shit now. <laughs> uh, but that, that was just the that was just an example to show you uh, a problem like uh, this is actually just an equation like this. Totally won't join them. Hey, hey, hey no, no, put your put your Yu-Gi-Oh cards back. They're, they're vaping. You're gonna get expelled. What the fuck? Uh, so, let's see, what was it? Uh, anyways, the, the, the main, uh, the main idea with algebra is, what the fuck was I thinking? Uh, I'm a little, memers are pulling licks in the bathroom again. What is it? Oh, I just learned about that, like, yesterday. That's when he. That's when he steal the. That's when he steal the paper towels from the dispenser, right? That's what the kids are doing these days, right? Uh, stealing the doors off the stalls. What? Wait, what? What do you mean? What? What do the teachers like sell the vapes? Do the teachers vape the, the vape the vapes instead? What do you mean? Doesn't make sense. Four grand? What? I don't get it. Still the urinal cakes. What? Eh? <laughs> what, are you, what are you kids doing? Ah! <laughs> uh, uh. I gotta, yeah, I gotta move to a better district. Either that. But noodles. <laughs> no. But th th this is this is why we learned order of operations. So, uh, the the whole thing is well. Also, I, I recently learned that there's a PEMDAS is like a, a little bit inaccurate to a standard procedure. District needs me. I'm the only one actually trying to teach. Everyone else is just on their phones while playing fucking Bill Nye on the on the projector. Okay. Okay. Now they wheel in the CRT TV and then they, they play Magic School Bus, okay? In high school! This district needs me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, that's enough. Uh Pemdos is slightly incorrect. I, I was I was told that uh you do I don't remember the exact term, but let's get a, a nice equation like. Hmm. Hmm. Five. Bodmus. What? Oh, brackets. What is, what is that? Oh. What? Uh... Wait, no, no, divide by five. Let's see, divide by ten. Uh... There we go. Uh, good morning, Dirk. Math at 3 a.m. Absolutely. Uh, so, hold on. I can make this... I can turn this into algebra. And I bet you didn't know it. <laughs> Equals x. Solve for x. There you go. Welcome to algebra, motherfuckers. Okay. Uh, that was the order of operations. You know. Parentheses... Alright, we've got our parentheses right here. 6 minus 3. That's all that's in the parentheses, so we do it in that order. So that's, uh, 6 minus 3 is 3. The power of 3. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, 
at, at a square root over x. No. You bastard. No. <laughs> you can't do that. No, not, 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 not yet. Uh, but... And now we have to do... The parentheses are solved. We've, we've got just one number in there. Exponents. We got, we got our exponent. Three. So we got three to the power of three. So... Three times five... So three to the power of three is three times three times three. What's an exponent? Uh, it's the number above. So you get something like... Two to the power of four. It's an exponent. Uh, I believe. Kragi's your math teacher. Where is she at? I don't know. She's run away. She didn't. She didn't study. I'm. I am. Ninety nine percent certain. Although I should be one hundred percent certain that the uh, square roots also count as exponents. Is e to the power of three an exponent? No, that's e three. That's a conference. <laughs> Uh, good morning, V Templar. Welcome to math. So, what's the third root of uh, 47? What is the dog doing? Didn't mean to swear. I'm the one. Who, I'm the one who swears. I'm the one who knocks. Uh, but yes, something like to the power of four. This is actually an equation. But, uh, the, the, this this operation tells you two times two times two times two. Uh, so, 2 multiplied by itself 4 times, which equals, uh, 4 times 4 is 16. There you go. Yeah, think to the power of whatever. And 3, uh, the, the, the third root of 27, the cube, the cubic root, is 3. Because, uh, 3, 3 to the power of 3 equals 27. Uh... Solving roots like that by hand are a pain in the ass. Just, uh... Don't- don't tell anyone I said this. But, uh... Yeah. Yeah, square roots are, are inverse. Yeah. Uh... So the, the third root is actually... The, the third root of 27 would be the exact same as... 27 to the power of 1 over 3. There you go. He just swore. Well, any one motherfucker, <laughs> no. Uh, but uh, a root just means, uh, hmm. What number multiplied by itself, however many times, will equal 27? Good morning, Clifoth. Uh, I like this teacher. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the cool teacher. I, I, I know the video game references. I say, someone's writing boobies on the calculators. I... I can't, uh... I can't show you my calculator. It has boobies written on it, too. No! <laughs> Teacher that says poggers. Mm, exponents are pretty pog! Ah, but yes. Something like 27. The, 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 the cubic root of 27 is... What number... Y y you have to find out what number multiplied by itself. Three times equals twenty-seven. So, uh, well, I, I know the answer to this. And three times three times three equals twenty-seven. Hmm. Now to find this out by hand, you just have to, you know, guesstimate. Uh, so let's say uh, third root of a uh, twenty-five. We already know, uh, 3, yeah, 3 equals 27, so then you just do something like, what is, what is 2 and a half times 2 and a half times 2 and a half, uh, 2.5 to the power of 3 equals, uh, why would you do this instead of make it a redstone Minecraft calculator? Uh, please, uh, pull out your phone, start Minecraft, and, uh, load this Minecraft Redstone Calculator app, and perform this. Anyways, the, 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 the answer to this is, uh, you just see if this is higher or lower than 27, 
And then if it's lower, you, you go up one. Like 3.6 or something. And then you see if... Uh, or 25. Yeah, you're trying to solve for 20. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways. The, the answer to solving square roots by hand is just... Do it over and over again. Or, or any sort of root. Ah, but yes, we'll, we'll get into those roots early, uh, later. Ah, oh no, no, let me finish order of operations. <laughs> uh, yes, exponents are important. So, oops, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Now, the, the thing is, uh, I don't remember exactly which situations this, this makes a difference in. Hmm. But you technically have to do the uh, these this 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 is the, the multiplication next to the the parentheses first. Uh, if it was written like this, then you'd be able to do all of this at the same time. Public age education, everybody. I'm not getting paid. <laughs> the teachers' union didn't let me in. They said I was too much of a gamer. <laughs> uh, however, just multiply those. 5 times 27. Uh, what was that? Uh, 135. So 3 times 135 divided by 10. Make it more in Ron the Cool Dude <laughs> for free. <laughs> you should be sorry. No. <laughs> Welcome to class. Uh, this gamer discrimination. Uh, yeah, what the, yeah, that's correct. No monetary compensation. Uh, they they let me they let me eat at the cafeteria. <laughs> they give me V bucks. Noodles, what have you done? <laughs> uh, you wrote boobies on your calculator, you son of a bitch. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, gotta take a swig of alcohol. No, I'm just kidding. I, I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Not in front of the kids. No, oh, goddamn it, the dogs are active. No. Uh. Anyways, yeah, now we can do the multiplication, division, in any order. I believe the cases where this makes a difference is once you start getting variables in your equations. <laughs> it's a completely different dog. Uh, look at the funny dog. Karagi in the cage on... No. Hey, why are you being taught algebra in an alleyway by a math hobbyist? Because it's fun. <laughs> hey kid, you wanna have some fun with algebra? Anyways, uh, 3 times 135 is, is 405. What's 9 plus 10? 19? Equals x. And then we divide 405 by 10 and we just uh, move the decimal place over. Get the... Uh, 40.5 equals x. There you go. Yeah, good morning, Attenborough. Can't you simplify the fraction further? Uh, yeah, you, you can just uh, you can just divide 405 by 10. I guess if you wanted to leave it as a fraction, you could just find the factor uh, the factors or whatever. The common factors between the two. Obviously, 10 can be divided by 5, and 405 can be divided by 5. However, 405 is odd, so you can't divide it by 2. So you know the the two. Oh, well, yeah, 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 anyways, uh, 5, 405. Uh... 81. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 80, 81 times 5 over 2 times 5. We can just cross out the 5s and we just get the yeah, 81 over 2 equals up. Well, no, 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 no. Let me do this better. A 3.5 and not a 3 times 5. No, that was a 3 times 5. Uh, was, and then we ended up simplified 5 times 27 as 135, and it's a little bit sloppy. 
Uh, yeah, uh, 81 over 2. Oh, fuck. Equals X. There you go. Yeah. N now you're certified in algebra. <laughs> uh, it's been half an hour. Everyone who... Uh, everyone who's late uh, gets to miss out on the... Uh, on the Kahoot, uh, the Kahoot review. All right. Uh, let's, let's pause Super Mario. Uh, let's see. And there we go. And yeah, quick algebra review. All right. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Uh, everyone needs the link. Yeah, it looked like 5 times 27, or 135. Hmm. You get really excited when you can turn something into a 1. That's, that's based. That's the kind of, that's the kind of can-do attitude you need for, for mathematics. There's nobody to bully in the classroom. What about you? Someone's playing Flappy Bird? Uh, where's the bully? Yeah, five hundred dollars. Your friend asked for two hundred dollars. How many dollars do you have? Five hundred. <laughs> Seven hundred. Because <laughs> you beat him up after he gets two hundred from someone else. <laughs> Zero. You're broke. And why'd you say you have five hundred? Hmm. On only if you're removing someone from the the Flappy Bird player pool. I need to get first place. <laughs> Anyways, here's the Kahoot link. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that up. This is a very very short pre-algebra review. I uh, Pemdasa, please enter mini dentist annually sometimes. Uh, hmm. What the fuck is Kahoot? Boomer, <laughs> You're playing video games? Yeah, it's like a video game except I I, I make you learn. All right. Let me bring up the uh, the quiz. It's only nine questions. One of them, the final one, doesn't even count for points. These are all extremely easy. What's the pin? Uh, it's coming. It's coming. One moment. Uh. Oh yeah. There, there's a nice option for. Hmm. <laughs> Friendly nickname generator. Fuck that. Show questions and answers on players' devices. Yes. Yeah, it is timed. Uh, good morning, song leaves. Your differential equations professor gave an algebra quiz on the first day and it wrecked the class. What? If you're signing up for differential equations, how the fuck do you get there? <laughs> no. Uh, anyways, uh, the, the winner, wh whoever gets first place gets to, uh, uh like, I don't know, d decide some stream idea for, the, for next week. And as long as it's something that I can stream, then I will. And, and good morning, guys, Shanes. For getting stuff, the further you get. Oh, I see. But yes, uh, if your username isn't the, if... <laughs> Uh, you, you cannot you cannot receive a reward if if you don't make your username, uh, it close enough to your Twitch name. Otherwise, it's going to whoever gets your. If you make your username someone else's Twitch name, you could basically give the reward to them. I guess, but let's do it. All right. Uh here we go. All right. <laughs> I found out you can set a background video. <laughs> so it's the game play in the Dance Dance Revolution. Check the shit out. A long term memory loss. <laughs> uh, Hopper Bag. No, someone else would get it. You get deleted. <laughs> Wait until the video ends. <laughs> uh. But yeah, the, the the pin is right here. <laughs> I just want to watch this video again. 
Yeah, okay, okay, he's gonna do the backflip soon. Alright, alright. Oh, oh. Dick, check this shit out. Yo! <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's fucking sick. <laughs> yeah, this is what math gets you. Uh. Yeah, I may as well drop the. The thing again, just in case. We've only got. We've only got five students out of shit. Uh... Oh shit. Yeah, but if, you, if you get good enough at math, you can do this. Why is it refusing your name? Hmm. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's a slur. Oh no. Oh, I see. It was not the algebra people use in uh, every math class. Completing the square that people hadn't done to use. Oh. <laughs> Adjacent slurs are still slurs. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, you cannot you cannot name your uh, you cannot name your Dark Souls character at night. Or or also get the middle of it censored. <laughs> uh exactly. Ah, but yes, let, let's start. Let's see your new move. Completing the square is so useful. Hey, what do you mean, completing the square? Uh, yeah. Oh, signs and cosine. Uh... Alright. Uh, more, more like Law of Casinos. <laughs> it's cool, drop that. No! Uh... Alright. Let's go for it. Uh... Wait, hold on. I want to watch the, the backflip one more time. I can't not miss this. Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh... So, yeah, th th these are all very easy questions. I just want to do another K Kahoot quiz right at the start. Y you guys know this stuff, right? Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Uh... I was in a hurry, okay. Hmm... What do you mean, wait, seriously? <laughs> I said it would be very easy. Uh, this is just the review. Hmm... I did want to- I did want to do it right at the start. Oh, this one might actually get. Oh, okay, never mind. No one accidentally typed one instead of negative one. I may or may not have done that on accident myself. Uh, while, while testing it. Did high school dropout. <laughs> high school dropout is showing off the uh, the elementary school skills. Person who gets low score gets banned from the stream. Holy fuck, you guys are good. <laughs> Uh... Oh? <laughs> uh... Oh! I gotcha! <laughs> High school dropout went back to take elementary school another time. <laughs> uh, I want to check who got that one wrong. <laughs> your, your ego's done. Oh. <laughs> uh. Hmm. This one's a little bit trickier. <laughs> no! Are you doing it on purpose? No. Hmm. The 
jerk. No. <laughs> okay, everyone got that one. Hmm. And... You use it at your job? <laughs> what, math? Oh? Wait, I did get this equation right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, I had to double check for a sec. Uh... High school dropout got dropped out! <laughs> Alright. Uh, unfortunately, the last question is, uh... Is not math. And it is worth zero points. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. Where's my, uh... Hmm. I have a note card with relevant information. Yo! <laughs> Who said that? Uh... Trackpad got gotcha. the, the leg. You're away from the computer for the first question. Hmm. Last place. Uh, well, yeah, I want to see who got what wrong. Yeah, you won. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, I have to take that as a as, as a win. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Uh, I have to hide this for checking the answers because it shows the email that I used, even if it is a throwaway. Let's view the full report. Hmm. Yes, to, to anyone doing Kahoot on stream. Oh, shit, kind ha kind cat got zero percent correct. No answers at all. Rest in peace. Hmm. Dirk got 56%. Oh. Hmm. You got the... You got the... Two-thirds incorrect. The exponents. And the... And the harder decimal one. You did get the trigun one correct. <laughs> that was worth zero points. Just in case you were you were concerned, woozle. Oh, you only missed one. Yeah, you only missed the uh, the two thirds. <laughs> and you said trigun is not cool. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me? Hmm. Oh. And, uh, and R. And Mr. R also got the, the Trigun 1 incorrect. Hmm. But no points lost. Oh, just unanswered. I see. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, it is interesting, though, looking at all this stuff. This would be fun for, uh, to, to use it in an actual classroom. Ah, uh, but anyways. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ah, okay. Uh. Oh shit, <laughs> the golden, uh, the, the golden Tandeshi. Hmm. Ah. Uh... Oh, yes, I, I assume now at this point everyone is, uh, Hot up on the on the on the old uh, mathematics, mm, baby math. I don't know if there's any term, just just pre-algebra stuff. You can do your operations. Uh, only had a few questions. Yeah. Yes, guys, Shane's. What is what is your what do you claim as your prize? Hmm. Let's get started working on... Oh no. There we go. 
algebra. <laughs> There's a prize? <laughs> yeah. That was the whole idea. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I assume you're gonna say something silly like a Fortnite stream or something. The, the most I could do for like a, a battle royale is one game. I don't know. Anything reasonable. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah. Last time the it was a. Uh, the, the winner chose a, uh... was it? Scribble. A, a scribble. <laughs> a scribble stream. You had a good one? Hmm. Uh, no. I don't believe it. I'm scared. <laughs> uh... Uh... Hmm. Paperbag fanfiction reading. It would have been a gamer challenge. Oh no. Hmm. Uh. Play Sekiro. Well, I, I don't. Is that on the, the PC? Hmm. Like, I can't do it on, on PS4. It is. Actually, I, I'd have to buy it. Hmm. Hmm. I guess mostly just like a, a one one stream idea. Uh I'm not gonna do a whole a whole let's play. Uh, I'm not gonna play through like Xenoblade Chronicles just because someone got first place. It's too much or something. Uh or Xenogate, I don't remember. No, I'm yeah, I'm on a teacher salary. <laughs> no, I'm on I'm on back alley salary. Just me. Me and, and anything I can get out of the dumpster. I don't have a salary. I, I should. Not on stream. I don't, I don't know those games well enough. Hmm. But. Anyways. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. I, I don't know the proper order to teach these. Uh. What you want to do is you want the Xeno Gears and only Xeno Gears. Well, does it have robots in it? Is that why? Is that why you're? Hmm. Timonji only Ishin. What does that mean? So is that Sekiro? Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Hmm. Um, you want the uh, basically the the process of solving for X is to simplify uh, the equation. Ichimonji is a move taught to you by Ishin. Uh... Sounds painful. There is disconnect from all the other ones. Okay. Huh. Ichimonji only, uh... Only Xenogears. Uh... But... Ah... Uh, hmm... This is a good equation. I, I guess if people throw math equations at me, I'll, I'll, I'll solve them and try to explain them. Uh... Hmm... Do something neat, like... 3 over 5 times... Uh... Hmm... An X... Plus... Twenty minus uh, I don't know twenty-five. Cool math game stream. 
<laughs> hey, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't play cool math games. No, no not during class. Equals uh. Yo. <laughs> no, I was gonna rate four twenty. There you go, here's your math equation. <laughs> okay, now. Nah. You finished all of your homework. Oh, yeah? Why don't you make your own homework if math is so fun? <laughs> uh. So, nah, nah. Hmm. Don't turn this. Don't, don't type this into your calculator. <laughs> Don't type 800,815. Uh, but anyways. If you want it, we have to solve for x, but x is all the way over here. First of all, we need to simplify it. Uh, there's nothing we can do inside the parentheses. However, we can uh, multiply the, the, the 3 over 5 throughout the parentheses. So, uh, here's the easy way of looking at this. As always, it, it, multiplication like a, uh, just, just look at multiplication like making a square. Happening to Texas Instruments Inspire at 3am, not a prank? I, I think you're pranking me. <laughs> so, hmm, we can't, we can't combine this, so we'll have to multiply this whole this whole term and er, funny thing inside the parentheses. What's the official word? I don't know. I don't care. This is math. We don't need words. We just need numbers and occasionally letters. Hmm. Ah, uh, this will be useful to think of this as a uh, as squares in a moment. So, once we start getting into uh, polynomials. I guess this is a binomial. As 10x plus 20 over 1. Yeah, that as well. Uh... Hmm... But yes, when you, when you multiply these together, you, it's basically the... It's about the same as... 3... 10x... Plus 20... Over... 5. And then, uh, the rest of the equation. <laughs> Limits are a thing. Uh, uh, it's not too advanced. It, it'll, it is always good to think about numbers and their, their equivalents, I guess. Yeah, but the way of doing this is we want to... What the fuck is the word for this? Factor it out? Uh, so, we can, we can multiply this, like so. Uh, we can do... 30 over 5 x plus uh, is it 60 over 5. Who <laughs> learned how to surpass limits? No! Uh, is, is this not called factoring? Oh, ah, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then now, now you can simplify this rather easily. Uh, you, you just divide 30 by 5, nice and easy. You get, well, I mean, uh, just for, hmm, for demonstration purposes. You never taught factoring. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, uh, 5 goes into 30, nice and even. So you get 6x plus 12. Short hand is bad in teaching. Yeah, but it's fun. Uh so what? Hmm. So now we get six X. Ah. Six X plus twelve minus twenty-five equals uh, 
the big number. Don't want to fuck. Almost fucked it up. No. Hmm. So, and now we can simplify this even further. We have two like numbers or whatever. We're adding 12 and we're subtracting 25, so we can just, uh, we can just, uh, do that both at the same time, and simplify that to 6x minus 15. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 minus 25 is negative 13. So 6x plus negative 13. You have an equation to solve for x? Hmm, I'm all ears. X equals cosine x. No! <clears throat> How do you solve for x in that case? Uh... We divide both by x, you get 1 equals cosine x over x. I, I never remembered my, my trigonom trigonometric uh, stuff. It's pretty good it divides by 6. I'll show you if it can divide by 6. Or at the very least if it can divide by 3. You can't solve for x. Okay, then... Uh, then it's uh, not a number. Uh, uh, improper equation. Yes, and then... Now we've got a, an equation that we can... I guess, start algebra in on. Now, now this is where the real algebra starts. Well, I guess we have to do a little bit of it. X equals 8.15 over... Wait, no, 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 no. Problem didn't say simplify. It says simplify the equation, you son of a bitch. You can't get away with it. <laughs> uh, but we have to get rid of this 13. And this is the fun part of algebra. What you do is you add 13 to both sides. Hmm... Uh, this, this is the core of algebra, is that y if you perform the same operation to both sides of an equation, uh, it, it's equal. Hmm, think of it like a scale. Yeah, th this is like the, the usual metaphor for algebra or whatever. You've got a, you've got a, a heart? And a feather. And you have to find out... And the heart and the feather weigh the same. No. <laughs> uh, timeless metaphor, yeah. Hmm. If, you're t if you add 13 pounds to both sides, it still equals the same. Now, good morning, pig. Raisins are great. Uh... Raisin the student's IQ. Got him! <laughs> Good morning, uh, can of cupcake. Uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome to welcome to math class. How may I take your order? <laughs> uh, but anyways, mm, you can think. Yeah. So, obviously, these are both equivalent. Uh, well, yeah, the equal sign is stating the fact that six x minus thirteen is. A, the exact same weight as uh, <laughs> 800,815. And if we press down or release the scales of the evenly, then uh, it's equal. You know? <laughs> uh, hmm. We say th 25 equals 25, and we add 13 to both sides. Eh. We still get a true equation of uh, 38 equals 38. There you go. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to Algebra 1. So, we're doing that here. To, uh, to help 
I guess, isolate the X. The, the unknown fact there. So, let me get 6X equals, uh, yeah. 800,800 and 28. Algebra is about gaslighting. <laughs> no. Hmm. Now you're gaslighting me. Hmm. Isolate Max. No! <laughs> it's grooming, right? I don't know. I don't know these terms. I, I just see them spouted every day. So. We can, uh, we're dividing by six. Now here's a nice uh, gamer term. Whatever. If you multiply by one over six, it's exactly the same. Uh, same with subtraction. If you say take a, I don't know, fifty minus uh twenty-three. That's exactly the same as fifty plus negative twenty-three. There you go. <laughs> uh, so if you think about it in terms of uh, addition and subtraction, positive and negative are inverses of each other. Or whatever. Opposites. And uh, for multiplication, uh, it's, uh, a, a, whatever, like 6 over 1 is the opposite of 1 over 6. I don't know if that helps you. It helps me. So, uh, anyways. We end up with 6 over 6x equals uh, this fun number. Over 6. Ah, uh, hmm. Let's actually see if this... Oh, no, there's no way this is... This might... No, this is not this is not the divisible by three. Here's some gamer tech. If you add up all of the all of the digits, if if that's divisible by three, then the number is divisible by three. So eight plus eight plus eight plus two. Ten plus sixteen twenty-six. Two plus six eight. It it is not divisible by three. I can tell you that for free. Why is it like that? I don't know. It works. Uh, I would like to look into the, the reason behind that. Maybe if I have more time at the end of this stream, I might do that for fun. Yeah. You can definitely divide it by two. Did you exclusively refer to slopes as growth factors and graphs as tilings? What the fuck? Yeah, we, we can simplify it by two. Uh, so obviously four, four, fourteen. Yeah. Uh, so x equals. Well, you can just plug this into your calculator. Oh, check this. Uh, hmm. Check out my sick math skill. Uh, eight 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 or eight zero zero eight eight divided by six. Okay, check this. Check this out. <laughs> oh, good morning, Karagi. You missed the test. You missed the pop quiz. Uh, here's, here's a very nice tip. Uh, if you, uh, if you type a, a, an equation into Google, it'll, it'll do the calculation. Give the TA. Uh, hmm. Oh? Hmm. Oh no, what is it? Taking Karagi? <laughs> I cannot, I cannot give you Karagi. Hmm. That, that's not how that works. <laughs> uh, the teacher's assistant. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not a teacher. <laughs> no. And then three repeating. Or. Uh, 133,471 and one third. There we go. Uh,. I hope you all followed along. You all fail. 
<laughs> exactly. Uh, hmm. That was blacklisted from the teachers' union. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, hmm. I don't remember how to do the more fun equations. I don't remember how to do examples of them. Hmm. Let's start talking about the fact that we have a a variable in our equations now. So I, I did glance over it there, but I, I believe that is a binomial. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm looking stuff up right now. Uh, don't worry about it. Now expanding the proper term. Okay. Well, why am I still here? Uh, the, the tenure. <laughs> no, that's no. If you're in the teachers' union, you have infinite tenure. Yeah, no, if your teacher says he wants to fail, like, if your teacher brags about failing classes, they're failing students, and that's the blame. Uh, factor in... Okay, yeah. Factorizing in the UK. What a bunch of dweebs. Uh... Hmm. Uh... Is that midway through semester? Because he's mad at the class. Okay, no, that's based. Okay. Hmm. But, uh, I did skip over it a little bit. Hmm. We'll do this. Nah, we'll do this the easy way. So, everyone can do 2 times 3. In fact, everyone that showed up to the test proved themselves capable of multiplying 2 by 3. Uh, you just simply... Multiply the two and the three together, and you get six. Uh, mad becomes bad. Exactly. Two times three equals seven. Hey, no. It's in Russian. Oh shit. Uh, but say we get something like this. Two times x. Plus three. Uh, so now we have a. Uh, what do they use that dot? Because you get you got x's in algebras. If you do, uh, let's see, five x times uh, three y times five x y squared, <laughs> then, then yeah. No. Hmm. Ah. Why do they lose the letters when they've already got the numbers? Hmm. I guess. No. Let's do this without the variable, so I can show exactly. How can you use the dot product the uh, two integers? What do you mean? God damn, is that in more math bullshit? No, oh, is that later? What do you mean dot product? Oh no. Oh that yeah, okay, I see. Hmm. Yeah, normally uh Hmm. I see. Huh, I've never... No. <laughs> uh... Interesting. Taylor series? No. You can listen to Taylor Swift in, your, in the meantime. These two different X's? Ah, like a... One of those and then a, one of these. That's still pretty similar. Yeah, normally I use an, I use an asterisk, but that's too much. Hmm. Shake it off. Good luck, buddy. 
What is the name of the series? You can do Bernoulli, Br Bernoulli numbers. I don't speak Italian, though. No, oh, okay. Never mind. Fuck that. Uh... No! Wait, why are you in Japanese middle school? <laughs> what do you- how'd you break in? <laughs> uh... Here we go. Now, how are you gonna solve this? Now, you could add these together. But if you want to be based, you can uh, do 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5, which is equivalent. I can prove this right now. 6 plus 10, 16, or 2 times 3 plus 5 equals 2 times 8, which equals 16. You teach English at a Japanese middle school. You can't do that. Asked the teachers what Senko and Tan meant, and it took six years for someone to tell you that they were Taylor, Taylor series shortcuts. Really? Huh. Hmm. It's true. No oh, shit. Oh. Ah, interesting. Are you sure they're shortcuts or it's not the other way around, as in they're, they're equivalent to some other math bullshit? Juku. But Juku. Hmm. But anyways. Okay. Uh, no one could tell you what they were. Fuck. Uh, hmm. I remember some better definitions as well. I mean, I don't remember them off my head. Uh, off, off my head, but yeah. Now, let's get crazy. Uh. 2 plus 3 times 3 plus 5. Hmm. Now this is when it gets fun. So we're, we're using all the whole numbers or whatever because it's fun. Much easier uh, to teach with. So... At least for an example because you get a, a concrete answer right away. And this is where the uh, the square came in. Uh, it, it will is going to come in in handy. Oh no! <laughs> uh, so we can simply do it like this: two and the three times the three and the five. There we. Did they say like foil or something in, in school? Is that, is that how they teach it in public school? That's how they did it back in the day. But anyways. Two multiplied by three. We get the. Oh, hmm. Now let's not simplify it yet. Two times three plus two times five plus three times three plus three times five. So. Let me write it out as a as a real equation. Uh, there we go. But now we can solve this rather easily. Uh six plus ten plus nine plus fifteen. What part of sine? Is it theta? No, it's not theta. LM. Uh, limited Z over R. Is it clear? Oh, uh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, the part where it's my problem. <laughs> Get fucked. Uh, anyways, yeah, 16 plus 9, 25, 30. Uh, 40. What does Quake have to do with math? Uh, just wait until they start adding the, the, the half-life symbol into physics. There we go. Or... What that lambda, lambda do? I don't know. The easier way to do it is we could have just uh, simplified it. So, 6 times 8. I mean, wait, no, no, no that's a 5. <laughs> 2 plus 3! Ah, 2 plus 3 equals 5. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40. However, I showed that example off because it's going to be useful in one moment. Because now, we're going back to Algebra Baby. It's a Greek, Greek letter you could never draw. You just drew a tornado in its place. Hmm, you better find it. I want to. I want to see the tornado letter. <laughs> uh. So, two times x simply simplifies to two x. Eta, isn't it? It's not too bad. This doesn't look like a tornado. I guess if you draw a tornado, it, you, you, anyone would understand that well enough. So yeah. Now, if we start factoring with something like 2 times x plus 5. Uh, I should leave more room for this. There we go. Hmm wrong it was oh that's silly never trust a man who can draw curly brackets without giving up at the end yeah <laughs> if if both sides look even oh hmm Seagulls. Beach. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, that's a real man. Two S's. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, uh, and now you can see how easy it is to factor nonsense. So, we move the 2 and the X. And the 2 and the 5. Uh, I did show it earlier, but... Yeah, you can just, uh... You can use a square as an example for this, but you really shouldn't have to. But 2X plus 10. So now we've successfully freed the X from the, from the parentheses. Because, uh, you know, PEMDAS and all that stuff. You, you wouldn't have been able to solve this equation before. Uh, well, I mean, you could have, yeah. It's just that uh, this makes everything a hell of a lot easier. Now, we're going to get into the real stuff. Uppercase sigma or pi are fun letters, too. Finger guns. <laughs> oh, gee, it's me. <laughs> uh, Alright. White day falls on the same di day as Pi Day. Wait, is, is White Day always the, the 14th of the next month? You can go sleep in class now. Me too. <laughs> X 
x plus 2 times x plus 5. Don't wake me up. Too late. Uh, I slept in class a lot. So now this is why we needed that 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 uh, square for the example. Because we're, we're getting difficult now. So we have the the x and the two and the x and the five. It doesn't matter the particular order. It doesn't matter which one's on which side. But hey, good morning, Lily. We foil in. I don't remember first. Inside, outside, last? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, welcome to foil. And then, so x times x is x to the power of 2. Never got better sleep than an 8 a.m. calculus. Uh, fair enough. Hmm, yeah, kids don't need sleep. Uh, and then, yeah, I guess, yeah, this is oil uh yeah first inside yeah that's what they mm, so they teach you in the in public school and then five times two is ten so we add that all together and we get uh, x squared plus two x plus five x plus ten easy and then we can simplify this. 2x plus 5x. Okay, yeah, the, the box squared. It, same difference, yeah. Next squared plus 7x uh, plus 10. Oops. There you go. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you've got the... Oh, I'll show the... The, the more fun way of doing this in one moment. But... Oh no, it's too big! There we go. So, welcome to Algebra. We can replace numbers with, uh, with variables. So, if we were to do something like uh, x plus a, oh no, times x plus b, we get something interesting. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let me do the boxes for uh, for for teaching's sake. X a. X, B, X to the power of 2. A 7 looks like a katakana for a wool. Maybe. A, X, I can wear an RCL Ardor. Welcome, welcome to the math class. A, B. So. Uh. Simplifies to A. X squared plus. Oh no. Can I count for a while? Looks like the number seven. Looks like a backwards F. To pay respects. A plus B plus AB. It's so hard at math, so. Well, no, you can learn something. Yeah, give me a problem you think is difficult. At least in, in, this, in this category. And I, I can use it for an example. So, uh, n now now that we're getting into real algebra, uh, we we can just simply replace those numbers and get an answer. Uh, so people around you like anime weebs, even though the they're Japanese and don't know what the word means. Based. Yeah, <laughs> just going into a Japanese middle school and calling the kids weebs. <laughs> Call them weebs for learning Japanese. <laughs> uh, anyways. Yes, if we have a problem like this. 2, 5, we can just simply replace the, the A with the 2 and the, the B with the 5. So, x 
to the power of two plus. Oh wait, I forgot the X here. God damn it. Ah. Plus two plus five times X plus two times five. So just replacing the numbers, we get uh, X plus seven X plus ten. I don't have the capacity to conceive of a math problem. Hmm. Not, not even a, a word problem. Okay, right, have a good night, Dirk. Sleep tight. Don't let the uh, the bed bags bite. And don't let the math get to your head. Hmm. But yeah. Uh, now you've learned that part. Uh, I may or may not be looking at a, a math website just to look at the uh, a syllabus. Uh, not not for answers. But for questions. Oh, it'd be nice to just find the algebra homework and just do that. Uh, but here's an important part. Exponents. Uh-oh. What have you done? Hmm. <laughs> uh, exactly. Hmm. What are you, some sort of weeb? Steal everything you can. <laughs> being a teacher is just being a, a DM. Hmm. But let's talk about exponents, because you, you do already know how to uh, how to solve, I guess, addition and subtraction, multiplication, division. Uh You win while you're asleep. You'll have math nightmares. You'll, you'll dream of the the Mario 64 pan flutes for the eternity. <laughs> really? That's 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 all you need? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but, I don't know. I actually did learn a little bit while doing the, the small amount of preparation. Hmm. But, let's talk about the, the, the easy inverse nonsense. So, 2 minus 3. Uh, 2 minus 2 equals 0. Uh, 2 over 1 times 1 over 2 equals 0. Oh, no, it equals 1. Oh, it cancels out. <laughs> uh, stat mechanics. Unfollowed? Uh, I'm doing it every other week. I was supposed to prepare for this earlier, but I didn't get as much prep uh, in as I wanted to. Oh, you can type the exponents? Really? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, last one was two weeks ago. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't need to underline that. So. Uh. Here's the fun way to write it, I guess. Uh, X to the power of A equals... Oh, well, I mean, no, 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 let's do it the easy way with numbers. We'll, we'll, put the, we'll put the variables in later. How about x to the power of 6? And that's simply x and x x x I may or may not be trying to count this x. There we go. Hmm. And then yeah, you can just replace those if you really wanted to. The pact has been made. No, too many x's. Hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, the, the the basic way to think about, like, well, the reason why they call it squared for power of 2 and cubed for the power of 3, and they don't call it hypercube for the power of 4, but x times x is the same as finding out uh, the area of a square, and... There we go. And x times x times x is the same as finding the volume of a cube. But yeah, that, that's why squared and, and cubed are there. Tesseracted? Why would it be tesseracted? The hypercube. Uh, hypercube is the four-dimensional cube. Uh, if you want to be... I don't remember how to draw it. 
No. <laughs> uh, it's math gods. Hmm. Someone has done that, right? The the Eminem rap god, but the math god or something. Hmm. But uh, now I should get into the the annoying part. Well, first of all, x to the power of zero. Can't draw it, Professor. Yeah, you can you can draw a two dimensional representation of the three dimensional shadow of the four dimensional object. Don't tell me I can't do something. Uh forever. Nah, I don't remember. I'm sorry. If you have grid paper and you know how to do it, you can kind of do it. You have a question? No. What is it? <laughs> uh, but any number to the power of zero equals one. Now, the problem is, what about negative exponents? But yeah, no, you, you can ask a question. Dude, negative six. I get more than total rams. Not the algebra. Thanks for teaching. That's not a question. <laughs> uh, it's simply one divided by next times. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna be held back for those kinds of questions. Nah. So. Hmm. I, I guess this will be important in a moment. But we're gonna start talking about messing around with exponents and stuff. You can draw a 3D object on a 2D surface, then that mean you can draw a 4D object in 3D space? Uh, yeah. Have you, have you never seen a, a hypercube? <laughs> Uh, just, just Google Hypercube. Wait, no, that'll bring up the movie. That's a weird movie. Hmm. I only learned about it because I was looking at the Hypercubes. <laughs> uh, but anyways. Cube 2 Hypercube? Was that the name of the movie? Was the first one Cube? It might have been. <laughs> it's the GameCube. No. Uh... But anyways, uh, cube and cube zero. I know there's the hypercube movie. Hmm. I didn't think it was a good movie. It's like saw, but they're inside of a hypercube. I didn't know there was any math involved. All I know is some dude got like sliced apart or something. Ah. Uh, name for the GameCube is Dolphin. Yeah, that's why the emulator is called Dolphin. Hmm. But he's a he's a problem. Let's say you have x to the power of three, and you have x to the power of two, and you want to simplify this. How do you do it? Well, you, you can't. Uh... Actually, no. We can save this for later. I was gonna say, well, you, you can't like mess around with the exponents, but you can simplify this in a way, or at least. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, dolphin, because the main dev was a dolphin? Eh? Uh he -huh. was interesting. Had a complicated alg algorithm that showed where the cubes were rotating? It was written on the walls. Uh, okay, maybe that is interesting then. Hmm. But, you can simplify exponents if you multiply them together. So, uh, x, uh, x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2 equals... Oh, wait, no. Perhaps all the rooms have numbers assigned to them and the players are trying to figure out the solution. Nothing to do with exponents? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, hmm. Yeah, anything interesting is, is interesting. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait, no, we can do this right now, using the knowledge that we have at this very moment. So, x times x times x plus x times... You'd never survive a math escape room. 
Hmm. That's a good idea. Hmm. We did just learn how to make uh, binomials, I think. I, I never really remembered the math terms, I just did math. <laughs> Anyways, you can see a common factor between these of x times 2. Or uh, x times itself. Uh, anyways, check this out. We can do x times x multiplied by x plus 1, aka x squared times x plus 1. Yeah, that's the, that's the same as that. Hmm. Is, is factoring pretty much like anti-foiling? Yeah. Uh, I think. I think that's a good way to describe it. What? Uh, back to exponents. Hmm. X times X times X. Times X times X. No, there's no addition here. This, these all add up together. You went down a foil and fencing class. Uh, uh, I I mean, how to build fences in fencing class. Hmm. Check this out. We can just uh, remove the parentheses and we get x. We we end up with five x's, which is x to the power of 5. Hmm. And now, those negative, those negative exponents start to make sense in one moment. What about x to the power of 3 times x to the power of negative 2? Well, hmm. Yeah, let's do it this way first. So, exponents divide, so we get a uh, negative exponents is one over the, the result. x times x times x over x times x. Uh, and these cancel out, and we get only one x. So, check the show. It's exactly the same. We're adding the exponents together. 3 plus negative 2. Which is equal to just x to the power of 1. Which is just x. Hmm. So, here, here's where we bring in the, the variables. Uh, shit. Hmm. Let's see. the power of a times x to the power of b. We wanted to do more fencing. Hmm. I assume fencing is hard to hard to do in, in most places. Six week course run through community center. Yeah. Yeah, I assume there's not too much uh, excitement for fencing. This is the Mario uh, file select. Mario 64. Hmm. It's supposed to feel like you're taking a Super Mario 64 physics course. Uh, but, there you go. Now, let's add a little bit more to this. Well, I mean, uh, explain it a little bit more. Say x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 2 is equivalent to x to the power of 4 times 1 over x to the power of 2. <laughs> Build up math knowledge for 12 hours. Let's go. Hmm. And yeah, as we saw, negative exponents are just... Uh, the, the inverse or whatever of positive exponents. Basically, 1 over x to the power of 2 is exactly the same as x to the power of negative 2. Mm, so, 
the dividing is just subtracting the exponents. <laughs> you think you're learning math? Hmm. This should be the easy stuff. So you, you could just write it this way if you really want the note. X over uh, uh, x to the power of a divided by x to the power of b equals x power of a minus b. There you go. Hmm. And oh yeah, in this case it's uh x to the power of two. Y you can add four and negative two, right? I, I hope. <laughs> uh. A lot of X's on one page. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. Fractions. Hmm. This is the fun part. So. Hmm. X to the power of 1 over 2 is the same as the second root of x, a.k.a. The, the, the square root. So, hmm, I believe that makes sense. Let me start doing some factoring. Oh, it's been a while. Fuck, it's been a while. Uh, hmm. I'll save that for next stream, actually. It's a good idea. That, that is a, a good subject to have examples for. Good lyrics on the on the math. Uh, hmm. But anyways, I did mention this earlier, but yeah, uh, the square root is just uh, what number times itself equals x. Hmm, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, hmm. I did not prepare for this as much as I should have. So, I do have a nice backup. Well, I guess no, let's talk about formulas. Everyone knows... Well, not everyone. Hopefully everyone knows a graph. So you've got X, and you've got Y. Hmm. And you get a nice formula like Y equals... 2x plus 1. Hmm. Hmm, maybe graphs are a bit weird to talk about right now. Anyways, that means at every step, a graph is just like a, uh, plotting all of the answers for this equation. Cartesian, to be exact. This is Cartesian, right? I don't know. Uh, I guess, yeah, I should write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, at every step, uh, you, you go by the, the x, usually. Hmm, I believe always. I don't know if there's anything stopping you legally. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's not like it wouldn't work. But anyways, so, at 1, what the, where does the graph go? All, hmm, I'm really not good at teaching this part. But anyways, uh, imagine we want to solve for y at every point. So, let's say, because we have two unknowns, let's say we, we substitute one of them in. So, at x equals 1, 2 times 1, plus 1, we can uh, find out what y equals. So, y equals 2 plus 1, which equals 3. Yeah. Hmm. This is really not the right size of graph, because at 2, when x equals 2, we can we can say with confidence that y equals five. Eh? Hmm. 
It's not a riddle, that's... Hmm. Negative one equals... Ah, what have you done? You messed, some, you messed something up. The square root of negative one is imaginary. Hmm, yeah, I see what you're doing. Ah. Let's, let's skip ahead just a little bit. We did talk about square roots, so we might as well delve into this. Hmm. So, as you know, a... Negative number. <laughs> Good morning, Slepner. Uh, so a positive number... <laughs> welcome to math. A positive number times a positive number equals a positive number. A negative times a positive equals a negative number. And... You go a little bit further. A negative times a negative equals a positive. So the problem is, when you get to negative roots. So, say the square root of negative 4. Does that equal? So, the problem here is, no number multiplied by itself will ever equal a negative number. You could take the cubic root, I believe. But the square root, no. Ah, I never talked about the, the fun part with square roots. Factorizing, simplifying, sim <laughs> simplifying roots like that. So, hmm. Well, the square root of negative four is equal to the square root of negative one times the square root of four. Now, we can't do negative one, but we can do four. Because 2 times 2 equals 4. Now that one's a, an easy one to remember. So... Well, um... Let's do this in the proper order. Uh, oh. I'll simplify it in the proper order. Negative 1... Square root of negative 1 times 2, or... 2 times the square root of negative 1. Now in math, we, we do have a, a number for this. This is a... This is an imaginary number. It does not exist. You can't do it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh... There, there is a, there is a, uh... A variable for this. You don't understand why. You, you can't, you can't do the square root of a negative number. Like when you try to divide by zero. Uh, dividing by zero is a little bit different. Because zero in math isn't, isn't really a number, it's more of a... It just represents a blank spot. If you just have straight up zero. You can add or subtract nothing easily enough. If, if you have nothing and you divide something, yeah, then you get nothing. The square root of negative number, you just get an imaginary number. Exactly. Now, good morning, Nekarine. Just milk the math. Uh, yes. They use the... the the, the letter I to, to represent the square root of negative one. That, that will be useful later. But for now, uh, this this lesson, we won't uh, have imaginary numbers. Hmm. I'll definitely have to go over this lesson and see what I forgot. Hmm. But anyways. Uh, let's see. When x equals 2 on the graph, Back to this. 2 times 2, plus 1. Nah, I can just do it right now. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Bam. Uh, and on 0 at the... The... Yeah. 0. 2 times zero, uh, 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Negative 1. Negative 2 plus 1 equals negative 1. Your brain hurts already. I'm sorry. Anyways. Uh, imagine imagine I drew this a little bit better. There is a grid function. A grid button on this. There we go. That's about what that looks like. Uh, hmm. 
Uh, been a while. Hmm. I'd have to find a good example of this. Can't remember any <laughs> any problems where where you start with y and x on one side. Uh, hmm. Oh, you may also see it written like this. f of x equals something like x plus uh, plus one. It's basically the same. Uh, but yeah, it's easier to write sometimes. Yeah, especially when you just want to say what what the, what's the answer at three? You say f of you can write it like this f of three equals two times three plus one, and then f of three ah just simply equals seven. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I'm starting to run out of examples. No. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Uh, logarithms. Hmm. Uh, we did just go through exponents. Solving all of math. Let's go. Uh, I do have one thing that I can definitely do at the end. I, I did not prepare a second Kahoot quiz, unfortunately. Hmm. I, I ended up being a little bit busier this week than I expected. Uh, but... Let's see. Log base 2 of 8 equals... Uh, log is interesting. I actually had to write down notes of this because I never really cared about logs. But... Let's see. That so log base 2 of x is the same as 2 to the power of x equals 8. So, uh, this, this is a little bit easier to understand. In, in, in a context. You see log base 2 of 8, that means nothing. You don't know what the hell that means. Yeah, it's a very inuntu uh, inuntuitive. Inuntuitive? Unintuitive. But anyways, so you have a problem like this, where where the, the variable is in the exponent, and a log is how you get, the, get it out. So, it basically means the the base, how, how many times do you have to... To what power do you have to take the base to get the, the, the thing in the parentheses? Hmm. So, I mean, we can solve this here. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So, we know that 2 to the power of 3 equals 8. So, log log base 2 of 8 is 3. Now... Uh, the, the real answer here is... Whenever something... Oh, no, no, no. Whenever something says log, you just plug it into your calculator. Now that is good to understand what it does. Hmm. Now there is... So there's a little bit of a problem. If you see log without a base, that's usually shorthand. The log base, log, hmm, some mystery number of, uh, I don't know, 20. Let's get spicy. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. Not, no, not right now. Uh, uh, when there's no number, it's usually shorthand for log base 10. Which is... Uh, so yeah, 10 goes into 100 two times. So... 2 equals x. 
Well, I guess... Yeah, I might as well write it out the fun way. 10 to the power of x equals 100. Which is, you know, it's 10 times 10. Just add another zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. But... Yeah, there's also the natural log. You see, ln of, uh... I don't know. Let's I'll Google the answer for that one. Uh, this is E, which is some stupid number. Uh, and so E to the power of X equals 20. Hmm. So the, 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 hmm. Euler ruling in his grave. <laughs> Fuck Euler. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks like his name is Euler, but it's pronounced Euler. But anyways, the the thing with, uh, we're not getting into derivatives yet. Not yet. We could. I could bring you into derivatives rather easily. Yeah, fuck, we may as well. It's a complex plane. Uh, so, the slope of e to the x. Yeah, I didn't know that there was one either until last time. Hey, good morning, Egust. Uh, hmm. So what? Uh, it's about like that. That nah, that's the uh. Hmm. F of x equals e to the x. At every point, the slope is is equal to the to x. So, uh, no, 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 no. The slope is e to the x. Something stupid like that. Uh, I, I believe it's that. Anyways, the derivative of f of e to the the, the, the derivative of this equation is. Uh, is the, what is the derivative of x over dx? Oh uh, god, it's been a while since I since I've written derivative whatever. Is e to the x. Uh, actually, I could find that rather easily. Hmm, where is it hiding? Uh, well, let me just look up natural log. Google calculator. Uh, yeah, it does have a natural log button. So, natural log of 20 is 2.995. Alright, we could round it up to 2.996. But anyway, uh... Derivative of EX. There we go. Okay, yeah, I was correct. Uh, there we go. Good, good. I, I didn't, I didn't mess it up. I think I did mess up the, the nomenclature here. Hmm. Oh, did I get it correct? Oh shit, I did get it right. Okay, yeah, it is x over dx. Yeah, the, it's the this the, this 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 right here means a uh, derivative. Hmm, okay, I was right. Okay. Uh, you want to know what derivatives are? It just means the equation for the... Well, I guess it's the same. The equation for the slope at any certain point, or... No. The integral is the space underneath, right? Am I insane? Hmm, well, I can guarantee you it's the... <laughs> it's the It's the equation for the slope. Don't know why people were so impressed by Newton's work. Um, the rev A! Hmm. Plus two. That's a pretty good pun. So. Actually, let's use our previous e equation. Well, actually, this one's going to be incredibly simple. So. Uh, f of x 
2x plus 1. Or, or y equals x plus 1. Uh... So, one, two, three, whatever. Bam, bam, bam. It's three. That was five. That should be seven. One. So one, two, three. This is a very simple one to take a derivative of. So, how do you find the, the derivative is just the, the slope, I think. Uh, no, I can't get this wrong. Uh, I mean, I, I know, I know how to calculate the derivative, but is it also the area underneath? Hmm. Area is the antiderivative. Ah, uh, the integral, right? Okay. So this equation will be the area underneath. Ah, oh, whatever. Ah, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm not crazy. Uh, integrals that have funny numbers. But slope is rise over run. So, how steep is this? Uh, we, we've got a number for that. So, every time we move one space over, okay, this is a uh, of x equals 2x plus 1. Integral to calculus. Ease um, Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, every time, 1 and it's 2. <laughs> you bastard. Uh,. However, let's get into a more complex equation. Uh, f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 3. Nah, plus 1. So, this will take a moment. Now... Now we'll need a few more, <laughs> a few more lines here. So we're doing it with the numbers first before we add in variables because it's easier for examples. But at one, let's see, one. Oh, I, I may as well write it. Yeah, I've got plenty of space. One to the power of two plus two times one plus one which equals 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. Uh, right there. Easy. And now, f of 2. So, to the power of 2. Ah, it's a bad parenthesis. Plus 2 times 2 plus 1 equals 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 5 above 4. Ah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hey, good morning, geek ya. Geek ya? Will this be on YouTube? Yes. Eventually. Uh. It'll be a moment. <laughs> Uh, I still have a lot more VODs to upload. I, I had to edit some stuff. 3 to the power of 2, plus 2, times 3, plus 1. So 9, plus uh, 6, 15, plus 16. Wait, what? Oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. Uh... Yeah, x to the power of 2 plus 2x plus 1 can actually be foiled out very easily. 
The word parentheses predates parentheses. That's messed up. The the 16 is way up there. Now let's take f of zero. I skipped over that earlier. Uh, uh, zero to the power of two plus two to the power of zero. Uh, two times zero plus one equals one. That one's not too surprising. But we get we get a, a very I guess upwards line. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the, the the units are not precise. Th this graph is not the scale. So if we wanted to find the, the slope, we could find the slope for any given point easily enough. Hmm. Well, no, it's not easy enough. There's too many factors on this. Uh. Yeah, it's it's uneven. Uh, this really doesn't show it too well, but that's more like this exponential growth. So, hmm. If we really wanted to find the the, the slope for two, we can approximate it fairly easily by doing uh. So rise over run. Uh, hold on. Um, hold on. Give me my give me my brain one moment. Mm. So we could do. So if we want to find two. Uh, the, the slope uh, when f of x equals 2. We take 1.9. Thank you for the raid, Arya. Oh no. Genocide raid. Good morning, Solnox. Good morning, Crowdhopper. Good morning, Dictator Duck. Good morning, TDI. Good morning, Hobbsgob. Good morning, Arya. Good morning, Gravity and Biscuits. Good morning, Uluthrek. Good morning, Wex with the. Point one. Uh, good morning, Venera Pony. Uh, uh, oh my god, Lewis. Genocide from Undertale. Welcome to Algebra 1. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if derivatives are in Algebra 1, but we're, we're delving into derivatives because this is the only good example I can think for this. Yeah, what, what were you doing? Was it fun? Oh, I need to give this shout out. Sign up for Algebra 2. Uh, that's in two weeks from now. Maybe. Oh yeah, Aria. Uh, I mean, New Vegas. Uh, there we go. With a new part of the NCR and Legion. Hmm. It is quite literally calculus. Well, we can use our Algebra in this. <laughs> that was a Miku fan stream. Yes. The tangential aside. <laughs> okay, yeah, the rivers are 100% calculus. Uh, yes, uh, we're finding the, the slope. Yeah, math is fun. Uh, so I, I... Oh, wait, oh, you completely finished New Vegas. I didn't... I, didn't, I skipped over the message. I was too busy panicking a little bit. Interesting. That, that's an interesting choice uh, of nuking both. Did you have fun winning? Uh, calculus is applied trig, which is applied algebra. I may have skipped over trigonometry in this. Well, no, no. I did not. Not yet. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> but welcome to solving the solving for the slope. What? There, this is trigonometry. Uh, I guess triangles. Well, these are we're solving for the. No, we're just finding the slope. So difference between y two over one slope equals two. Uh Okay, good. I I I I never paid attention to the math terms. I just did math. Uh, give my dictator duck. Hated math. 
And it became tolerable once you get to apply to stuff. Yeah. Yeah, once you start using math for fun, it becomes fun. Yeah, but anyways. So, so the... I guess estimate the slope. Uh... We're gonna take... Uh... So the difference between... 1.9... Uh... Estimating the slope for... Uh, uh, f of x equals 2. Wait, I mean... Wait, no, no, fuck. No! F of 2. Uh... Is he math for fun and evil? No. No! Hmm, calculus is... okay. So... Your rise over run. So... That would be F. The higher one... The, the, the difference between the two. F of... 2.1. Minus F of Oh wait no no one point nine divided by zero point two. Yeah. Cause we're moving two over and we're moving an unknown amount upwards. So let's do that real quick. Hmm. Let's do it by hand. Uh, f of 2.1. So, yeah, our formula is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Hmm. So, 2.1 squared plus 2 times 2.1 plus 1. So, 2.1 2. 2. squared. Uh, let's see. So that's 4.2 plus... 0.21? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Let's do long multiplication. Just as a refresher. Want to play Math Magician in D&D? Interesting. There's nothing stopping you. So, yeah. Simply... 2 times 2.1... 4.2... Plus 0.1 times 2.1... 2.1... So, 4.1... Not 2.1. 2.1. The decimals. Ah. 441. Oh. Ah. FFT has calculated as the arithmetician, so you could live out your, your dreams that way? Oh, yeah. I've heard the Final Fantasy Tactics games were good. But, M together. Nine point six one. There we go. If I, hmm. I haven't played many tactical RPGs. And I've always heard Fire Emblem was great. But and then let's subtract the F of one point nine. I'll just cut for the chase and calculate the the 1.9 squared, so we can save a little bit of time. Uh... There we go. 3.61. Ah, no, let's let's substitute everything in first. What exactly is this all for? Uh, I'm trying to teach math a little bit. Uh. I'm not- I'm not the best teacher. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Here's a good teaching moment. So, say you want to multiply something like 1.9 times 2. Uh, this is very easy. Check this shit out. Uh, 1.9 equals 2 minus 0.1. You might stale, Pingus. <laughs> you need to know math very badly. Uh... Yeah, mm, I'm doing this like every other week. So, oh yeah, so two times we can do it like this: four minus zero point two. <laughs> uh, so instead of a uh, instead of multiplying two by one and then two times one point uh, zero point nine, you can just do two times two and then subtract 
0.2 times 0.1. I guess. Or you could just multiply it regularly and get the... Uh, oh no. Uh, 3.8. This one, and then what was this? 3.61? Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, the base... Uh, yeah, good thing I'm practicing. Uh, 3.61 plus 3.8 plus 1. Uh, 6, 7, 4, 8, 4, 1. Oops. I, I believe that's correct. Uh, yeah, yeah, 6 plus 8 is 14. So, 1.4 plus 3 plus 3, 7, 8, yeah, 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 no, we're good, we're good, we're good. So, 7.61 minus 8.41 divided by 0 0.2, and that should give us the slope. Uh, let me go ahead and just put that into the calculator. Uh... Nine point six one minus eight point four one is one point two. Well, we'll see how close this is to the real answer. The one point two over zero point two mm, is equal to. Uh oh yeah yeah here's a nice little teaching moment as well. Uh. You want to look at it the 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 cool way. You can see this as twelve times ten to the negative one divided by two times ten to the negative one. Yeah, ten, ten to the negative one is uh, zero point one. I mean, I mean, I guess you could just fucking. 0.1. But anyways, if you've got decimals like that, you can just, as long as you move them the same number of spaces, you can simplify your fractions a little bit. And then, uh, 12 divided by 2 is a relatively e easy equation. It's just, the uh, So, the, the slope at 2 is 6. Six uh, units per unit. Ah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Dy over dx. Ah. Uh, yeah. 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 Or. Yeah. Ah. That's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you're supposed to teach it. Uh. It's fun uh, stumbling through stuff. Yes, yeah, the difference of y divided by the difference of x is how fast it goes. Now, let's calculate it. So our equation was f of x equals uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now, hmm. Ah. The exact variables you have to do for this. Hmm. Uh, I think you can just use any number. Hmm. No, we have to use any number. Uh, oh yeah, hmm. He's supposed to use, like, Delta. Uh... uh give me one moment. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, it's Delta Y over Delta X. Uh... Hold on, my brain's rotting as we speak. 
Hmm. Oh no. Uh, I need to see the other sheet. There we go. So we want to calculate the difference of y over the difference of x. See, this is why you need to. If you learn math, you can you can solve math. So, hmm. We we want to replace the equation with other stuff. Hmm. In a hot minute. Ah, shit. Let's see, where is it hiding? Derivatives. Uh, ah, there we go. Right. Mm. Uh. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah, this is the part when the teacher's looking at tutorials in in school. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Sorry. And this is all to try to teach some 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 algebra, and where I accidentally jumped all the way to calculus. Uh, so, get rid of of uh of the fun stuff is equal to six a.m. <laughs> oh no, you gotta get up at eight a.m. Oh, I'm sorry. How much sleep are you gonna get? Zero. Sorry. Here we go. Alright. So, dx is just a, a variable for difference in x. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry, I, um, I, I, I got a little panic there. So, we can see it in this, uh, in, in this previous equation we did to find the slope. F of, let's see, we can write it this way. Oh no, 1.9 plus 0 0.2 minus F of, 1.9 divided by 0 0.2. There we go. Uh, so 0 0.2 was the the change in x, and uh, 1.9 was our starting position. So we took the 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 I guess yeah, where x was at the uh, 1.9. Oh no no. Over here. Uh, so we solved the equation for 1.9, and then we found out how quickly it moved up for the answer at 2.1. So let's solve that for, I guess, uh, a more general use, <laughs> more proper use. Uh, anyways. So this is why we have the, the whole f of x nonsense. It's because we can just substitute x for x plus dx. Uh, delta x. So watch this shit. Uh, this is going to be a bit spicy. Oh, it's going to be long. There we go. Should have put this at the top of the page. That would have helped a little bit. Actually, I can still do that. There we go. Hmm. 
Nice. Yeah. This, <laughs> I know how to use a computer a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, minus x squared plus x. Uh, no, no, no. 2x plus 1. And then all of this. Uh, one more parentheses. Because I don't have the room. Divided by dx. Uh, equals, uh, equals the derivative. There we go. Uh, so, oh man, <laughs> yeah, skipping to this is very silly for uh, trying to show off derivatives. Uh, and nice. Okay. So now we just have to solve this equation. And let me get rid of this shit. Or at least move it downwards. So this is how to manually solve a derivative. I'm sorry for teaching you this in the in algebra. I don't actually get paid by the uh, by the state or anything, so I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> uh let's see. So x plus dx squared. Hmm. We, uh, foil that out. Two. <laughs> I have tenure. Uh, I'm not- I- I'm not hired. X squared plus two x. Root of x. I thought the x. Fuck. <laughs> plus. Built x squared. Or whatever. Dx. Sonic Adventure Dx. So yeah, uh, x times x, x times dx, dx times x, dx times dx. Uh, there we go. There's that. Uh, oh man, this is way too big for this. Mm, and then 2x plus dx. So, we can just... Uh, fact that it, mm, spread that out, whatever. 2x and 2 dx. And 1. When you're a kid, you heard your parents talking about tenure? Is <laughs> 10 years? Uh, pretty much. Feels like it, right? Hmm. And then we subtract. Squared. Yeah, and oh, basically we're adding negative x whatever. So we're also subtracting 2x, we're subtracting 1. And all of that over dx. Hmm, but yeah, tenure is silly for schools. <laughs> Very silly. And now. Hmm. Let's focus on this part first. There we go. So, we have no other x to the power of 2's. Uh, 2 x times derivative, derivative of x. Uh, really, none of this, uh, Oh, none of this actually simplifies. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Molecular cell biology at UC Berkeley. An age nihilist. Can't get rid of him because of tenure? <laughs> uh, base. Well, anyways. Hmm. So... Let's write it out the long way. x squared 
Yeah, none of this actually gets reduced or combined or anything. Yeah, 2x dx. dx squared. 2x dx. So, x squared minus x squared. Uh, I forgot the x here. Son of a bitch. Plus 2x root of x plus the root of x squared plus there's the 2x and we've got the, the minus 2x and then plus 2 dx plus 1 minus 1 so it cancel out all the all the nonsense so x squared minus x squared equals 0 holy frick 2x dx x squared plus 2x minus 2x equals 0 ah uh, got that too and 1 minus 1 equals 0. Holy frick. Uh, so we get all of this divided by dx. And let's see. So let's divide. Oh, all, all of these factors, all of these have uh, at least one dx. So we can just cancel them out. 2x plus dx plus 2. There we go. Did it. So, and for... Yeah. D of x, dy, equals that. And you, you just... dx goes towards 0. Yeah, allegedly. Uh, so that gets uh that goes away. So your old uh the, the derivative or whatever of uh, of that previous equation. Oh, no no no. And write it down here. There we go. I wrote it wrong. Motherfucker. I didn't do the equation wrong, I just wrote the... There we go. There we go. We're safe now. Okay, no math police are gonna come here. Not today. So, whatever. The derivative... Of of uh, of this function is two x plus two. Now there's a lot of shorthands and, and shortcuts and all that stuff that you can use for derivatives. I, I just wanted to <laughs> I just wanted to have a function that I could that I could solve for. Which is a which is a bad one. Just don't call the math police. No. Uh no. Hmm. But let's let's have fun. I wanted to tell you that math was fun. But let's do something fun. Freaking and deriving. How many math jokes do you have sitting around? Let's solve for an equation. Right, let's solve for a, a, a function. So let's start off with a question f of x equals what? So, here, here's our series. Uh... Need an arsenal. Uh, so, just gonna do... <laughs> you monster. f of x... Eh, yeah, whatever. Nah, blah, 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 blah. No, no, let's do it the easy way. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, etc. Mm, so, when x equals 1, it's 1. 1 plus 2. 
X equals 2, we get 3. And we got 3, 6. Uh, we add 4, we get 10. Making typos? No. Too much drinking and deriving. Mm, I just copied your joke over. Eh, whatever. Well, I guess we start with zero. And we add one. Oh, I've had... Hmm, good point. That is incorrect. So... Yeah, every, every time we add... N. Or whatever. Or X. Hmm. And then I, I might as well go a little bit further. Plus six. It's Twenty-one. So then this is this is a fun one to solve. Hmm. So hmm, one of the easiest ways to, to look at this is I guess start by Well you can see that it goes up a a regular amount, constant amount. Or I guess exponential, yeah. Kind of. No, it is exponential. It's not a constant rate of growth. It, it is getting bigger as it goes on. So, if we simply divide this by x, we'll be a little bit closer. Hmm. Ah. Uh, let's see. That's f of x. I do know the answer to this, by the way. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to solve a problem that's like that might accidentally be unsolvable or require like some form of math that I I don't know how to teach. So if we divide both sides by x. We'll get zero, one, uh, one point five. Let's see. So this is at the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh and divided by four, two point five. Uh fifteen divided by five, three, and six. Uh, twenty one divided by six. Let's see eighteen and three. 3.5. There you go. Hmm. Now. Now this is looking very close to just x. Uh. Let's multiply it by 2. Because we're getting. It's. It looks like it's whatever, whatever number has been half. So. Uh. function over x. So we get 0, 2, 3. Oh, uh, wait. I guess this doesn't work for 0. Hmm. Well, it does help. Uh, I guess you have to... Yeah, order of operations comes into play here. But it does help us get to the, to the answer. 5... Six, seven, hmm, and then subtract one. Well, hmm, we should have subtracted. Or I guess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, did I? I didn't mess up, did I? Hmm. No, I didn't. Nah, I don't think this equation does work for zero or below. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Uh, but anyways, we just, uh, subtract one. Uh... No, we do have to do it before we do 
some sort of operation. Then we'd be starting out with uh, a weird number. Hmm. No, wait, no, zero divided by three was. Uh, no. We wouldn't end up with zero afterwards. Hmm. Strange. Well, anyways. We just subtract one. So. Two of x. Over x. Minus one. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess we're dividing 0 by 0 at this point, so 0 doesn't actually matter. Hmm. But yes. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6. And then we just, uh... Let's see. Yeah, we just divide by x, and we get 1 equals... 2 f of x over x minus 1 divided by x. So, now let's solve for f of x. So, and do it up here. 1 equals 2 f of x over x minus 1 times x. Welcome to algebra. Now we can solve for this. So, if we divide both sides by x, we get 1 over x equals 2x uh, 2, 2 over x of x minus 1. And now, let's add 1 to both sides. So, I, I guess we should write the, the operation that we're doing. Plus 1. There we go. And now, let's just multiply by the inverse of this. So, times x over 2. So yeah, then x over 2 times 2 over x. The, the x on top cancels out with the x on the bottom, and the 2 on the bottom cancels out with the 2 on the top. So we simply get uh, x over 2 times 1 over x plus 2. One. Hmm, I don't know if this will give us the exact answer. Goals f of x. Now, let's we'll simplify. Wait, what? Hmm. Ah, it looks like I fucked up somewhere. Oh, no. Hmm. This should be an x squared. Oh, here we go. I, I messed up there. We divided by x on both sides. So, we should have x over here. Hmm, my bad. Now, this will make a lot more sense in one moment. x plus 1. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the proper answer. Okay, I'm not crazy. So, we just multiply it out. x times x plus x times 1 over 2 equals f of x. But now we can take it back up here. So, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6. We go all the way up to 6. We can just Substitute 6 into there for the x's. So, we get 6 squared plus 6 over 2. So, 36 plus 6, 42 over 2, 21. There you go. 
Now, let's do this the fun way. This is the really easy way to do this one. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Here's the visual way to do this problem. Uh, we always start with one. Hmm. How do I expand this so that I, I don't run out of room? Hmm. No, this works fine. We add two. Well, we start with zero. We add one. Then we add two. And then we add... Oh. No, it'll be easier to go up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start with one. Add two. We get three. Add three. We get six. Add four. We get ten. Add five. We get fifteen. Add six. We get twenty-one. So on and so forth. And if you look at this, we're making a, we're making a, we're making a, we're making a triangle, or half of a square. <laughs> the math magic is right here. Uh, if if you did the problem visually like this, you wouldn't have to deal with all that dumb bullshit that I just did. And you just say it's it's half of a rectangle. If you multiply it by two, ah, so Let's see, this is one and two over. Ah, yeah, yeah. So here we add. We have to add one because we're we're flipping this and we're making it into a neat square. You could do some some nonsense where you slice those in half, but we'd still end up with the half. So. Yeah, this is at the one, two, three, four, five, and six. So when we go over six, this has to be. Well, I guess you could do it the other way too. That make a little bit more sense. There we go. Let's go up and across. Uh, so we just rotate it and we end up with uh some sort of like negative uh negative structure that we just formed hmm this is where the magic happens <laughs> so we've just taken our function multiplied it by two but yeah, so. Ah, no, 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 we don't need to do that bullshit. So. Uh, it's x long. And well, in this case, it's 6. And x plus 1 all. And in this case, 7. And... Guess what happens? We divide it by two. There we go. It, it's just the uh, yeah, and then and then we'll get the uh, this. Hmm. Uh, I may as well show off the Pythagorean theorem. The the the, the proof for that. Hmm. Because that's a fun one. Well, while well, well, I'm just having fun, I, I've ran out of uh, prepared uh, nonsense. But yes, uh, this is x, this is x plus 1 divided by 2, x times x plus 1, we get this this whole rectangle, and then half of it is the is all the stuff we've added up, and we can simplify that, or, or whatever, do x squared plus x over 2, which is what we got by doing all the dumb bullshit math. 
There you go. Hmm. But this is a fun one. So, Pythagorean theorem, uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we have a right triangle. That means this corner is a right angle. So, ah, a, b, c. So if you don't know how long this is, you can solve it by this nonsense. Uh, I believe, let's see if you have, yeah, three and four, you, you get a nice, mm, nice one. So, let's say we have a triangle and we want to know how long this, this distance is. We know it's three, uh, three units tall, four units long. It is a right triangle. We're trying to find this, this length. So, A is 3, B is 4, and C is unknown. So, 9 plus 16 will C squared, and then, add those together, 25 equals C squared, and now, oh yeah, hmm. Oh, I guess I didn't explain why. Uh, I didn't finish explaining exponents then, I guess. But anyways, yeah, you just uh, take the square root of both sides. And square root of 25 equals square root of c squared. This cancels out, so we just get c. And square root of 25. 5 times 5 equals 25. There you go. So, this is exactly five units long. There you go. But, how the hell did it, how the hell did we get to a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Well, welcome to geometry, motherfucker. Check this out. Okay. Now, this is actually really cool, though. So, let's say we've got a, uh, a nebulous right triangle. We don't actually know the dimensions. Okay. Check this out. Uh, if we just copy that, if we make a square, like so, uh, does it matter? Mm, no. No, 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 that's a little bit too much. There we go. You're gonna be blown away if you haven't seen this. Okay, this is actually cool. Uh... Let's say this is A, B, A, B, etc., etc. This is the exact same triangle repeated. And this is C. So, now we've got the. We've made a square out of uh, C's. So we know that the, the area of this is. Uh, the inside minus the, the four triangles. Uh, hold on, let me... There we go. This is C squared. Now, if we just rearrange the triangles a little bit... Here we go. A... A, B, B, and then, there we go, ah. A, A, B, B, area is b squared. Yeah, both sides of this square are b. And the area of this is a squared. Both sides of this are a. So, there you go. This is how the Pythagorean theory works. 
Hmm. So, yeah, the a square with the... You just fit stuff in like this. You play a sliding block puzzle with some triangles, and you can find that that the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So yeah, we have uh, four triangles, and we're taking the, the area of those out of the this this uh, large cube. It's A A plus B. You know. There you go. Uh, you've learned something new. These are, in fact, equivalent. Not in geometric terms, but whatever. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, there ain't fun stuff. Hmm. I don't know. That <laughs> might be it. I might be out. Ah. Uh, Oh man, yeah, no, no one did the no one did the doodle redeem. I guess it didn't advertise it well enough. It's an equivalent exchange. Stuff like that's what makes math fun. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to touch too much on geometry. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I do. No. <laughs> uh, uh, this is the price I pay for not preparing enough. Hmm. Who is still on right now? Uh, hmm. Good morning, Cranberry. Your brain's not wrinkled enough for this. Is it? Ah, uh, wait, now I do have to finish explaining a little bit of exponents. Hmm. There we go. Let's add another layer on top of this. Oh, yes. Uh. Hmm. There we go. We did a little bit of uh, messing around with exponents. So yeah, x to the power of 6 is exactly the same as x times itself that many times. 6 times whatever. Yeah, negative is 1 divided by that. Hmm. So what that means is uh, when you start simplifying fractions, or er, exponents, so say you've got x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 2, you just add them together. Same with negatives. x to the power of 3 times x to the power of negative 2 is the same as x to the power of 3 minus 2. You know. Uh, uh, yeah, x times x times x. Whatever. But, what about the... What about if you, if you take a power to a power? So, exponents, part two. So, x to the power of two, to the power of two. So, you just, hmm. Do it easily enough. Oh, well, I guess doing it like this is good. So, x times x, and then, uh, hmm. Shit, this is not a good example. Never mind. Wait, no, that doesn't work like. Does it look like that? Hmm. <laughs> Yes, 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 it does. I think. Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, it's exponents, not... Oh, they're dumb bullshit. Ah. Uh, equals... X times X to the power of 2, which equals... X times X times X times X, which equals... There's four X's x to the power of 2. We can do this for other numbers. x3... Yeah, x cubed. And the, the, the power of 4. We'll end up with... x3 times... the power of 4. And then we'll end up with... x times x, whatever. That, 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 that. 
Uh, 3 times 4 is 12 times. X to the power of 12. So, uh, what I'm trying to get at is... X to the power of A... To the power of B... Equals... X... A, B. Yeah, if you were to take... Okay, yeah, if you were to mess it up and do... Something like X to the power of A to the power of B... You'd end up with something completely different. Hmm, I almost messed it up there. <laughs> uh, however, we've skipped over square roots. Uh... So... Well, I guess all roots say the th third root of x is no some dumb bullshit uh we can't really simplify that into anything however hmm, i'm gonna skip around a little bit it's the same as x to the power of one third uh, another notation for it now the I can prove this by using this, uh, this little simplification nonsense that we made. So, I guess x to the, hmm, uh, let's do it a funnier way. x to the power of 6. Yeah, there we go. So, that the cubic root of x to the power of 6 are... Now, what times itself 3 times equals x to the power of 6? Well... Let's do it like this. x times x times x times x times x times x. So, we've got 6 x's there. In fact, let's make some... let's make them into groups of... Uh, into 3 separate groups. There we go. And we end up with... Uh... The, the cubic root of... X, uh, x times itself six times is... X times X, or... X to the power of two. Now, good morning, uh... Akosika Bute. Oh, welcome to math. <laughs> uh, uh, let me explain exponents. Hmm. So... Yeah. Uh, a, a number to the nth root. Oh wait, I already explained that. Is the same as a number being to the power of 1 over n. And... Let's see. So this is the same as... x to the power of 6. Uh, to the power of 1 over 3. And we did that formula right there. So, we can substitute the 6 and the and the 1 third. So, this will equal 6, or er, an x to the power of 6 times 1 third, aka 2. There you go. Uh, so, hmm, now there is some dumb nonsense. <laughs> you can end up with, uh, I guess, hmm, ending up with, like, fractions in there is a bit, uh, annoying. However, uh, so taking, uh, using a, a fraction or, or a decimal as an exponent, a decimal is more annoying. So, so you have x the power of 3.2. Uh, so, uh, hmm. I guess you could, if you want to be crazy, uh, I guess the easiest, far from the easiest, the simplest way would be 32 over 10. 
now. In order to, I guess, turn 3.2 into a fraction. Uh, now let's do this the correct way. No, 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 no. Let this one more. Which equals... Uh, we cannot divide 32 by 5, but we can divide it by 2. X to the power of 16 over 5. Uh... Hmm. Well, we do have... We did learn how to do addition. Which is just multiplying, yeah. So... We could also write this as x to the power of 3 and 1 fifth. So, it's x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 1 over 5 this is also equal to x to the power of 3 times the fifth. Oh no. Let's make some room for that fifth root of, uh, of x. There you go. That, that's how you, uh... That's how you'd end up doing that. Hmm. So... Let's say you wanted to solve for... Hmm. Well, I guess the easiest one would be something with, like, 0.5. Uh, we can do this now, because we know. Uh... 3 to the power of 3.5. Now we just showed. You can turn that into 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 0 0.5. And we can turn 0 0.5 into a fraction. Uh, <laughs> one half is, 0 0.5 is one half. Now you can put 1 divided by 2 in your calculator and you'll you'll find that it equals 0 0.5. I don't think I need to explain that too much. So. Do the power of 3 times the square root of uh, 3. Wait, what I, fuck, I'm taking the square root of 3, God damn it. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, I'm doing mathematics. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to teach it. Although, I'm definitely not the great, the, the best teacher. So, currently, uh, we're doing exponents with decimals. Hmm. So, 3 to the power of 3 equals 27. Yeah, 3 times 3 equals 9, times 3 equals 27. And then, I will need a calculator for this one. Not a perfect... Uh, perfect square. Square root 3 is uh, 1.732. So, uh, times 27, 1.732. There we go. 46.764. Uh... No. So that's 3 to the power of... 3.5. Now you know. Hmm. And phone with the math lesson. Uh... It's about over. Hmm. I guess I should go back and add that to the, to the list of, uh, I guess, formulas? Yeah. X to the power of 1 over A, I guess N, that's fine, equals N root of X. There we go. <laughs> Alright, good luck with the lurk. But in the meantime, uh, hmm, I guess it's getting a little bit ahead of myself. No. One of the more important ones is, 
Oh. I did write it down earlier on the other one. Ah, fuck. X to the power of A to the power of B equals X. Oh, no, 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 no. X A oh, times B. There we go. So what that means is... Ah, uh, no, I don't like having N in there. And then using A and B for all the others. That feels rude. There we go. So... Uh... Well, we can... We can do some nice math with this stuff. Uh, cancellations and all that. So... Earlier, yeah, x, time, x to the power of a times x to the power of b equals x to the power of a plus b. So, x to the power of a times x to the power of negative a equals x to the power of a minus a equals x to the zero, which equals one. So, hmm. Ah, uh, there's not much room on either of these, damn it. Hmm. I'll just erase, no. Hmm, erasing the progress would be a little bit rude. Yeah, and you have to show your work. Or else you don't get points on the test. Okay. So, ah. Uh, x to the power of a times x to the power of negative a equals 1. You don't show work, you just still get points? Uh, not my problem. I'm not an actual teacher. Uh, I can't actually stop you. <laughs> uh, but... X to the power of A... The power of 1 over A... Uh, equals... Ah. Well, this one's very, very simple. Not an actual teacher, he can't stop you? Just dressed and act like one, yeah. Hmm, I think a teacher would act more professionally. <laughs> uh, but everyone knows this. Uh, the. Well, I guess eh, everyone uses the nth root, but. Uh, the a eighth root of. Uh, I don't know. It's too close to the other equation. Ah, I mean, formula. the a equals 1. Because it's just if we do this, the b. Oh. Check this shit out. English teachers tell you to go fuck yourself. Uh, understandable. 1 over a would be x times a over A, which is 1. Ah, no, that just equals X. I'm a fool. Whoops. But it's still very useful for cancellation. It's an unfortunate teacher. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, whoever, whatever teacher had to have you in class. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, I could, I could not make the joke. Uh, well, this exponent summed up. Uh, hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I wish I had homework to give. Hmm, oh, I could find some nice examples. No, not derivatives. Oh yeah, I, I just, I've completely skipped over inequalities. I, I'll teach this just for completion's sake. Uh, this means bigger. Three is bigger than two. Two, smaller than three. Uh, if you put an underscore, three is larger than or equal to three, technically. Even unequal to <laughs> three is also smaller than or equal to three. Uh, I guess. Ah, uh, but what, what this matters for is very er, solving for equations. So if you got a variable, the three. Er, well, I'll put the variable on the left side to be correct. X is larger than three, so you use a number line to represent that. So X is. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, X cannot be three, but it's any number larger than three. There you go. And that's how you show that off. Uh, X is less than three. Uh, would be. Well. Hmm, I guess I will make a separate one. Three, four, five, and then two, and then one. Not be three. So any number three or less. It, it going all the way into the negatives, of course. And now... Next is, I don't know, greater than or equal to two. So, uh, I, I won't do, <laughs> I won't provide an example for less than or equal to two. I'm sure you could, uh, you could figure that one out on your, on your own, given these examples. But, you use a filled in dot to represent that it is two, or it could be two, or anything higher. You have to use an empty dot for less than or equal or greater than. But if it's less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you have to fill in the dot because, yeah. Uh, now the fun part comes once you have two no, inequalities or whatever. So let's see. Two is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to, uh, okay, we'll just use two and three again. So, the example for this, on, on the number line, would be one, two, three, four, five, two is here, three is here, and x can be any, any number between and including two to three. There you go. Uh, so the thing is, you can end up with two separate equations, like, I don't know, five is less than two x plus three, and 10 is greater than x minus one. There you go. Uh, so this is a system of equations, I believe is the term. But we'll have to solve both of these. Well, I think they you put them together like this. Uh, it's been a while since I've ever had to do one of these. But that's fine. So we have to solve them separately. 
Uh, so, well, let's do the let's do the easier one first. N is greater than x minus one. We can do that equation super easily. We can just uh, let's move them over here. So we don't have to show our work in the in the answer space. Now this might not. I, I just chose these numbers uh, out of thin air, so there's a chance this is not solvable. All right, the, there's no answer to this. Uh, so we just add one to each. Hmm. So you, you can see if x minus one is less than ten, and that means it could be all the way up to the eleven and a half minus one. There you go. So. Uh, well, no, that's not true. 11 and a half would be 10 and a half, which would be greater than 10. Yeah. Uh, anyways, you add one to both sides. No, no, I can't, I can't not show my work. I'm supposed to be the teacher. Plus one, plus one. So, you get, uh, 11 is greater than x. But now we have the slightly more difficult one. 5 is less than 2x. Uh, plus 3. Oh, fuck, I almost forgot the x. No. So, let's subtract the 3. 2 is less than 2x. Hmm. Now we have to divide. Uh, was it multiplication and division that had to reverse it? Hmm. Or is it just when the uh, negatives are involved? Hmm. Let me double check. Uh. Uh, yeah, it is negative numbers. Okay. Uh, that would have been nice if I had one in the, in the example, but too late. Anyways, we divide by two. Oh, on both sides. And we get one is less than x. So, we end up with... We have two equations with x. Check this shit out. Uh, let's swap this around. x is greater than one. So... And I guess on this one as well. Nah, that's fine. So, pick this shit out. 11 is greater than or equal to x. And we know, there you go. And x is greater than or equal to 1. Check that shit out. You can just, you just, you can just combine them like so. There you go. But we found the, the range of answers for this. So, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's make it a little bit more proper. Eleven, twelve. I didn't need to write sixteen there. So we know that's. Greater than, uh, greater than but not equal to one, and less than but not equal to eleven. There we go, and there we go. That's yeah, good enough. Uh, so y you can plug in any number here, and it'll be correct for both of these statements. So, uh. So let's do, yeah, let's do six. So three times six is twelve plus three. Fifteen is in fact greater than five, and six minus one is five, which is less than ten. If we do something crazy like twelve. Uh, so yeah, twelve times two, twenty-four plus three, uh, twenty-seven is in fact greater than five. But twelve minus one is eleven, which is not less than 10. And there you go. Uh, 
did it. We solved inequalities. <laughs> we solved inequality. No. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Nah, I should touch briefly on negative numbers. So x. Oh. Negative two x is greater than five. Uh, if we now let's do let's do six. So it's a nice uh, no bullshit numbers. So we'll divide both sides by negative two and negative two. So let's do this wrong. There you go. So let's say we come up with the answer is x is greater than six. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what happens. See how many people die because of your mistake. No. Uh. uh four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh. Yeah, this is an easy mistake to make. All of them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we know six won't be the six will equal that. But, so yeah, if we put in 6, we'd end up with, uh, negative 12 is greater than 6. Wait, did I fuck up? Uh, I forgot the negative 6. Ah. See, you can see, you can see how this works, because I need to rearrange this. I don't just add the negatives. So this is the this is the negative half of the number line. If we say x is greater than negative six, because yeah, I, I forgot to add the negative because we're dividing by negative two. Negative. God damn it! I didn't even divide it. <laughs> I'm a little tired. Negative three. See, uh, several thousand people have died because of my mistakes now. No. <laughs> uh. Negative three, negative two, negative one, negative four, negative five. See, I did it wrong on purpose multiple times, just to show you. <laughs> uh, anyways. So if we if we say x equals negative three, we'll get negative two times negative three, which is six. Six is equal to, it's not greater than six. So you can see that is an incorrect answer. And that is shown here. Now let's do something that's supposedly a correct answer. So, negative 2. So, negative 2 is greater than negative 3. So, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, which is not greater than 6. So, what you're supposed to do is... Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to reverse the, uh, the inequality sign. Oops. So, the correct answer would be x is less than negative 3. Oops. You can see this when I put in negative 4. So, negative 4 is less than negative 3. Negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, which is greater than 6. And there you go. Ah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can see, you can see how the, uh, how I made the mis- uh, I guess, one way to visualize the, the reason for the change. Uh, I had to, I had to flip the number line around. I, I was going like, I, I was writing it like, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Hmm. But anyways. Don't think about it too hard. Uh, whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality sign. Uh, but we... We did it. Okay. Oh shit, no, no. Uh... Now I've now I've actually hit the, the normal end time for the stream. 
is by uh, by trying to explain stuff that I should have explained earlier. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, you know what I've never done? What is in the math channel? Is anyone streaming math currently? It's just me. Oh, good morning, Uwutu Owo. Uh, welcome to the end of the math stream. Uh, I hope you learned exponents. Uh. Hmm. No fellow math streamers. Uh. Everyone's off doing something better with their time. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Exponents, imponents, outponents. Oh yeah, what's uh... What's the reason my ex-wife left me? Nah. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Well, I, hope, I hope you learned a little bit of algebra. <laughs> I hope you know how to solve for x. Uh, yeah, I guess Red Robo just started. <laughs> Ain't Clive Barker's undying. Hmm. All right. Uh. There you go. Check him out. He's he's red and robotic. That is because she couldn't talk. He always went off on tangents. Did you already make the tangent joke before the stream? Hmm. Like, I went off on a tangent. Ah, whatever. No more joke rating. <laughs> uh, alright. Did make a tangential joke. Okay. Well, anyways. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, I hope, I hope, hmm. Yeah, the next, uh... Yeah, next Friday will be something else. And then the Friday after will be another math stream. A limited number, if you will. Hmm. Imaginary number. Uh, square root of negative 100. Perfect head, but imaginary. Let's go! <laughs> Anyways, have a good day, everyone. Thank you for uh, learning math. I'll be more prepared next time, I swear. No, I don't. I will swear though. <laughs> <laughs>